Hi, I'm Chris from Dynajet. In this video, we're going to show you how to use your LCD 200 accessory for Power Commander 5 to data log your Power Commander 5 channel streams. In this video, we have a 2011 Harley Davidson Touring model equipped with a Power Commander 5 and the dual channel auto tune accessory, and we're going to do a fourth gear 100% throttle run on the dyno, and we're going to data log it on the LCD 200 accessory. Now, to data log on the LCD, you're going to need no larger than a one gigabyte SD memory card. First thing we'll need to do is insert our SD memory card into the side of the LCD. We'll need to insert it until we feel a click. Sometimes it helps to have an object to push it in if your fingernail is not long enough. And we'll need to power up the Power Commander. This particular bike, we can keep the Power Commander powered on just by having the key on. Some bikes you might have to actually start the engine to keep the fuel circuit relay powered on. On this LCD, we've already pre-configured our gauges to show live speed, engine speed or RPM, percentage of throttle, air fuel ratio cylinder one, fuel adjust on cylinder one, air fuel ratio on cylinder two, and fuel adjust on cylinder two. To start data logging, we'll first need to go into the log file manager and we'll need to select the channels that we want to data log. It certainly doesn't hurt to have more data than what you need, so in some cases you can simply hit select all. Now that I've selected my data log channels, I'm going to start the bike I'm going to get it up to at least 106 degrees of engine temperature. I'm going to start my data log recording and I'm going to do a full sweep of the RPMs at wide open throttle. As soon as I release the throttle, I can stop data logging. Now once we have the bike up and running and we're ready to start recording, all we need to do to start recording is touch the screen and select begin log. Now to stop recording after we've made our dyno pass, we'll simply hit stop log. And that will save the data log to the SD memory card in the LCD. So now I've recorded and saved a data log of that wide open throttle pass. To play it back, I'll need to have the engine running. And while the engine's running, I'll just go into main menu, log file manager. I'll select the log from the list and then I'll play. Again, the engine needs to be running to play this log back. So now we've learned how to create a data log and play it back on the LCD. In our next video, we'll go into detail how to export the data into the computer software, how to view and analyze it in a spreadsheet format, and how to use that data to make an adjustment to your Power Commander map file.